Hello, this is Dr. Ming Wang, Nashville, Tennessee, United States, and I'm describing ambient disc amnia membrane contact lens to treat uh, post terrigen excision with stem cell deficiency and character epithelial defect. Amnia membrane contact lens is a product that has been developed um, based on our two U.S. patents, and uh, it is manufactured by a company named IOP Incorporated and uh, it is used to treat a variety of uh, ocular surface disease. Here you see the diagnostic codes that um, cross-walked with the amnion membrane procedure code um, uh, which is 66778. And the disease including corneal scar, corneal degeneration, recurrent corneal erosion, corneal dystrophy, and the re uh, persistent corneal character epithelial defect. And the membrane we order uh, is the MBO dry, which is uh, 50 micron thick, the thinner version of it. Here you see that the uh, MBO dry box arrived from IOP, and uh, the, um, we remove the amnio, MBO disc, MBO dry, the dehydrated amnio membrane from the box. And um, you basically take out the amnion membrane in a plastic packet. And this operation is done with uh, hand cleansing. Here you see the um, bottle of the scurry lens, which is 18 millimeter in diameter. And here we remove the um, scurry lens, the 18 millimeter lens. And um, now we are going to pull out the ambient dry. Uh, amnion membrane, the dehydrated membrane from its packet. And um, it's important to know that this amnion membrane is dehydrated, it's very flimsy, so it can be easily broken, so handle with care. Now we put the amnion the membrane, the MBO dry, on the underside of the amnion membrane contact lens. And um, the, the membrane, the dehydrated membrane, has been manufactured in such a way that when, it's, um, when it sits on the underside of the scurry lens that it does not actually move. So now you see the amnion membrane uh, opposed uh, fixed on the underside of the scurry lens which is the amnion membrane contact lens complex. And the uh, letter IOP should read correctly to you so you know the right configuration of the membrane. So now we put the numbing drop in patient's eye and then put the embryo disc amnion membrane contact lens on the patient eye with a stats post terrigen excision with sectoral limbo stem cell deficiency and carrier epithelial defect. Here you see embryo disc amnion membrane contact lens in this patient. In the eye you see a fold of the amnion membrane underneath the amnion membrane contact lens and this is the edge uh, this is the site where terrigen has been removed and uh, the membrane has just been applied, covered with contact lens. And uh, so here uh, uh, I have just described the application, the clinical protocol of using MBO-dry amnion membrane contact lens. Again, this, it is used to treat a wide variety of corneal ocular surface disease is based on our US patents and is currently reimbursed procedure 66778. This is Dr. Ming Wang, Nashville, Tennessee.